So by the end of 2009, I think pretty much everybody was kind of excited to get started for 2010. We felt like we had a really strong program. We bought a brand new car for them. We had some new tyres coming from Falcon, which the, the, the new chassis was pretty much built around. We felt pretty confident that we had a good program coming in 2010. Getting to win Long Beach obviously was a great thing. Strong, season strong and, and obviously lead there with the, with the points lead. So it really kind of set us up pretty strong for going to Atlanta after that. This year at Long Beach, I think if you would have asked me after the Long Beach event if we were going to have this kind of year, I wouldn't have thought it was coming, you know. And once we won in Atlanta, it was like, <laughs> we knew we could do it, and it finally happened. And to win in, um, in New Jersey, back to back, it was like, okay, we're still second in points. And just kind of kept it going, you know, all season long. Jay put himself in a good position. You know, he was driving really smart this year. I'd love to take all the credit for, for where he's been at this year, but like I said, it could have been any of our drivers, you know, and, and it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a cliche, but it's a terrible team effort, and he's done really well. Uh, I'm very proud of him. Justin in 2010 with our program, like, he's really got nothing to lose. We're building him a new car for next year, and uh, it's going to be very, very similar to what Vaughan has been running this year. Personally, I'm ecstatic about what his results have been. Um, he's, he's surpassed the benchmarks that I was hoping for. I think it's going to be an exciting year, year next year for GTP. Tyler's, Tyler's another example where he's at a different stage in our process. Being a, the road racer that he is, and a very accomplished road racer, and a very good road racer, he has a different approach, and we have to approach what we go through with him differently too. You know, he had a very strong part of last year, in 2009. You know, Dye just, he just loves to drive, and it doesn't matter if it's drifting or time attack or anything, he just, he loves to drive. It's what he does and he's happy doing it for a living. So Darren's improved as a driver a lot too and, and, and followed the same type of process that we've seen Vaughan follow the last couple of years. And we're seeing a much more mature driver behind the wheel, making smart decisions. Sometimes his car catches him out, it's just, you know, it's just too damn quick, you know, and it catches him out. It's nice to be back here, you know, I, this is my first place that I've ever came to in the US. There's no place like this in drifting, you know, it is, it is the Mecca.
We just won a championship! Amazing! <laughs> Woo! Well, drivers have different personalities, right? All of them. They understand what it takes to create a team environment. They all understand, too, that any of the other drivers can actually help their program. So there's become a, quite a strong camaraderie between all of them. But it, it, it helps the team as a whole. You know, and, and watching them all come together and, and get along really well is, is, is a big part of, of what helps us move forward, for sure. Yeah, very, very healthy, solid team, you know, all season long, making finals and you know, making top fours and you know, just kept going and going and going. You know, the, the trophies just kept piling up, you know. You could probably fill a trailer, you know, with all the trophies from this year, you know, as a team effort. Ten Formula Drift champion, six out of seven podiums. What's next is uh, a couple weeks of partying, a lot of mornings of wondering uh, why I did what I did the night before, and then it's going to be back to to the daily life of chasing the dream. And thank you to everybody, man, the, my sponsors, my friends, my family, and uh, most importantly the fans and everybody that supports drifting because. Uh, Without you, uh, I wouldn't be here.